see like how quickly by shifting things changes. It's almost immediate. And the more you get into the practice of doing this, the easier it becomes. And as you go on through your daily life, in a short period of time, you begin to recognize the space, the presence, the observer, versus the identification with the thoughts. And then the more you do this, the more you start to see and you start to realize that when you get caught into the world of the thoughts, where it takes you and how it can cause a suffering in your life. Now, wanted to also talk about the Oh, hello. Um, Salam Farzan, nice to see you, Mr. Delju. I can see you there. I, thank, thank you for waving at me. Um, most of us throughout our daily life, uh, our lives, we have a tendency if that our mind will go into the negative very easily and it will go nitpicking on things that uh this is bad that is bad um the world sucks um whatever it is it's very easy for the mind to go and pick up the negatives. So if you start to practice and pay attention, you can catch yourself and you can retrain yourself by recognizing that in fact, there is a lot of good things happening for you in life. And they, you know, I always have to double check with myself. I always, it's, it's like a routine checkup, I'm making sure that I don't go off the line. And, and in this checkup, if I find myself I'm off the line, just bringing myself back here again. And so this self checkup is very important. And you can do this self checkup every day if you want every week whatever you can create that for yourself and uh just stick to it and the self checkup is that the recognition of how many good things you have going on in your life and just notice that and bring that up for yourself and be grateful for that of the things that are going your way. You can do that right now. Think, think of all the things that are going your way, all the, good, all the stuff that's working for you. And, um, and you will see automatically, as you're doing that, your vibrations can change. Your vibration immediately when you disengage from that negative world of being focused, especially if you're 
watching a lot of media, watching a lot of news. And it's all focused on, because there's no end to it. There's continuously bad things happening. And if you're really buying it, then it will take you into this dark world. So you need to disconnect from that. Rosalie, you're trying to get my attention? Yes, because okay. I mean, when it's happened negative thing, you can be grateful for that too, because that's make you stronger and it's teach you something all the time. Yeah, of course. So you're turning the negative into, you're turning the poison into medicine. Yeah. Yeah. So the, look, we have the negative thinking, we have the positive thinking. We're, and normally I don't teach positive thinking or positive visualization. It's not something that I'm teaching because I'm teaching the observer. I'm teaching no thinking. I'm talking about being in this state of pure observer and the presence. That's the one that is aware of the negative and the positive, right? But a part of life, a part of our lives is that you wake up in the morning and you do a little examination of all the good things that life has given you, all the good stuff that are in your life. And just being grateful for all the stuff that you have. And do your day, continue your day from that place of being grateful that you have these things. You have this stuff. Whatever, your friends, your family, uh, your children, your parents, work, whatever it is. Because you also need to keep this in mind that it is the mind that goes into this place of nitpicking on the negative. The mind will go into these places. And we'll say, this is, this is, this is bad, that is bad. Da, 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 da. we'll start going blah, 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 blah. And by retraining yourself of being grateful for all the stuff that are going your way in your life and looking at it, acknowledging it, that I have all these things that are going in my way and I'm grateful for having them. And then what happens is just quiets the mind. You have disconnected the mind from going into nitpicking and, and looking for negative things. You have broken it, you break its pattern. And then it makes it easier for you to fall back and step back one step and come back into actually the true meditations or the true presence and being here with yourself and just sinking into diving into presence and feeling it, establishing yourself in it, operating more from the, the space operating more, learning to operate from the presence. 